somebody been asking about some tips and tricks for the high model crate control. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind noise, but I'll give you a couple of tips. So, uh, let's see. So everybody knows pretty much if you hold both, you get to zero. Hold this one and this one, you get to zero. You don't know sometimes is that, see this one is 0.2. So if you hold it, you go to zero. If you keep holding it, it'll match the other side. Okay. And then, you know, if you push this, you swap this screen to this screen, just like that. Now, what if you wanted to take this number and this number and swap them? And you could hold both, push both of these, and it swaps them. Again, swaps them back. So that's a quick way you can flop your zero to the other side, like when you turn around in a cut and go back the other way. And to set your MDI to adjust it, you hold the S button. This one doesn't have MDI, so you can't do much about it. It's an older machine, older 250. That's how you would do it. You'd use these buttons to adjust it. Back out of that. Now let's say you had your grade control off and you wanted to match the actual to the set. You know, on the FIs, you just push the button and it, it does it automatically for you. Well, there's a way to do it on this one too. So if I wanted to match the bottom to the top, grab this button first, push it. Don't worry about it running down, it's fine. And then grab this one and it'll match. So push this one, and then this one, hold it, and it'll match. Do that, of course, with the automatic off. Otherwise, the machine's going to go crazy when you change the number. So again, like this one, push down on the top, it'll match actual to the set. And that's about it. So a lot of the shortcuts you can do on the FI, you can also do on the older machines. Uh, you just have to go about it a little bit different way. And most of these, like pushing these two at the same time, uh, pushing this one, letting it zero and holding it to match the other side, a lot of those ones actually work on the FI also, the shortcuts. But obviously there's easier ways with the buttons that it, on here that it gives you on those great controls. And these also are your memories. So I can set this to, say, three inches. And if I want to quickly recall that, so if I want to quickly recall that, I can bring it up here, like that, swap it to this side. Now we got six inches. If I want to bring it up here, if I want to swap this to over here, push number one, swap it, because that's zero. So that's how you can use your program, your memory controls. That's kind of handy if you've got it dialed down to 12 inches and you don't want to hold the button and run all the way down. You can have one set at zero like this one is. So you can set at zero. I want to quickly zero this to swap it in. So I hope that helps. Some quick tips and tricks for the F or the I models. And uh, any other questions, throw it down in the chat. Please like and subscribe if this is helpful to you. And uh, we'll get more videos coming.